In this week's parsha, parsha Toldot, the portion in the book of Genesis, Bereshit, we really learn about an entire generation of our forefathers, that of Isaac and Rebekah. Isaac is the son of Abraham and Sarah, Abraham and Sarah, and in some ways his life experiences are summarized in this parsha, but also are very similar to the experiences of that of his parents. For example, they too, Isaac and Rebecca too, also have difficulty conceiving. They ultimately have twins, Esau and Yaakov, Esau and Jacob. We'll get back to those two in a moment, but Isaac and Rebecca try to leave Eretz Canaan due to a famine. They try to go down to Egypt. God tells them, don't go there. They end up by Avimelech. And there, Isaac tells Avimelech, the king, that Rebecca, Rivka, is actually not his wife, but his sister. Sounds familiar? Very similar to the way that his parents dealt with potential conflict. While he's there, he actually becomes very wealthy, Isaac. He amasses great wealth, makes a treaty, a peace treaty, ultimately, with Avimelech, digs so many of the same wells as his father, and ultimately carries a very similar lifestyle and a similar life story to that of his father. So we really see the full generation at that point, but simultaneously, we see a feud beginning at the very outset between the twins, Yaakov and Esau, Jacob and Esau. Yaakov, after all, has his name from the fact that he held on to the heel of Esau being number two of those two twins. But that feud did not only start in the womb, as we read in this week's Parsha and the Torah portion of Toldot, but it continues throughout life. One becomes a hunter, Esau is a hunter, and Yaakov sits in tents and learns Torah, is content with that lifestyle. We learn about the fact that Esau, desperate to have some soup, sells his firstborn rights, the Bechorah, and ultimately, later in the parsha, later in this Torah portion, when Isaac is getting old, Jacob tricks Isaac into receiving that bechora, receiving that blessing. He ultimately has to run away due to the anger coming from his brother, Asa. There's a lot in this week's parsha. We see essentially an entire generation of our forefathers taking place and the transition really from Jacob and Isaac from within the womb to really out in this world having a feud that does not end but only leave us on a cliffhanger at the end of the Parsha.